so hello guys welcome back i've been requested this video so many times so i've got a bit of time now uh, doing this gig that i'm doing i said you know what let me try um, and do this video so in this video what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you how i use uh, a companion uh, to control uh, my sq5 uh, desk basically i'm gonna show you all the shortcut and the macro that i use eh? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have got um, my Stream Deck with me, uh, but I can control the same function from the web app without any problem. So let's jump straight into the it and I will show you everything. Before everything, um, I show you, that's the desk, that's how everything is set up, nice and easy. I've got my laptop here, link to my Cut5, um, and I'll show you in the back. So basically, Cut5 goes in this uh, switcher. So at the moment, what I'm going to do is I want to do something easier for everyone. I'm going to go straight to the network port on the back of my desk, as you can see. But you can easily go on a, on a switcher if you want to go on a switcher or anything without any, any problem. Now, let's jump on my laptop. And uh, if we open uh, a Companion... You will see this window here and what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that this is the wired um, IP address that I'm gonna use so go here I'm gonna say launch I'm gonna launch the Bitfocus uh, companion app in here as you can see I've got all my um, other connection that I normally use um, if you want to add the new one Basically, I don't want to add a new one because after I will need to do everything from the beginning. But basically, if you go here on the left on the right side, you can see all the desk. You basically click on Add. The desk will appear in here. And basically, what you can do, if you go on Edit, you can put the target of your um, um, uh, desk. So in my case, is uh, if you go on Utility, uh, sorry, if you go on Setup, I'll show you here. So basically, if you go on setup, you go network setup, you need the IP of your desk. So you're going to put the IP of your desk in here. So 192.168.1.1. Console type SQ5. Um, just make sure that this is on liner taper. So if you go on uh, utility, you will see general. You go on MIDI. Just make sure that he is on liner taper, two and one. Same things on uh, on the laptop. MIDI channel number one. Okay. Um, what I normally do, I use. Um, I'm gonna in this case, I'm gonna put number thirty-eight as a talkback mic. Uh, but you can use any channel you want. Normally, it will be easy to do forty-eight. But I've got other stuff on this. So what I have done, I put channel thirty-eight. And what I do, when you go on your desk, okay, and you go on channel 38, basically is this one. I click on here, go on processing. When I need to assign, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say that I want local socket, okay. And I say that I want the talk. basically the input of the talk is this one that you can see here everything that's gonna go on the app on the input um, will happen will be my talk mic so here that's the error 61 there we go so now you will see that it say okay what I do I go on button go on the page that I wanted this is the one that I have already created but if I go let's say in talk base what happened, what this channel does, is basically this. So on here, you can select, these are all the action that this button will do. And this is what happened when I unlatch the action, when I unlatch the button. So what, I, what I've done is basically this. On this action, when I press it, the button needs to do the following. Needs to take the input channel, 38, activate it on uh, the channel, um, left and right and after what I need to do is uh, assign the channel to the mix so basically channel 38 assign this to the mix the aux one okay and needs to take the fader on level zero 
sorry. So, um, and after you do this, basically what um, we you need to do is uh, you select the channel 38 in here, the mix as well, and also the level. So basically the fader will go on 0 dB. And you will need to make sure that the input will be off. You will be, uh, the mute will be off. So that's the, all the process that it does. But I add also in all of these, even the soft key. So basically my soft key, number 16, say that needs to uh, open, I'll show you here because it's not set up. So if I go on surface, and I go soft control, let's say that you want to do channel number eight. What I do, I have done that he does uh, mix select and you select which mix. So in this case, let's say that we've done aux one, apply, and that's it. So if you see on the laptop here, I change this and I do soft key eight. So basically you need to remember that what you need to do on the unlatch action, basically you need to do the inverse of what you do. You need to say that you want to make sure that this is assigned to channel 38 number 1. So this needs to be non-active and after you need to, to fit the channel level to mix, so basically this will take uh, the input the channel on the mix one on um, on uh, minus infinite um, and after you will mute the mic and will press again the soft key 8 so it will go back to the mix so I'll show you now basically if I do web button and I go on this page so if I press, can you see, okay, yeah, so if I press this, basically the desk will recall the scene and activate the channel 38. So if I press again, we go down and we mute the mic. Press again, go up and do that. So you can see here, on the left in here, if I press it, I see if I can do it. So basically that's that's EA and um, if we go back to here on the control on the bottom you can do any function you want to look in here you will see that the button is still uh, on and uh, will we'll tell you that the button we can change color and you can do anything you want to basically. Um, and here, as you can see, I've got other functions. So basically, I've got the talk to each people in the band. Um, I can even um, talk to all. So basically, what I've done in here, I've had a different function. So I say assign channel to the mix, which mix, which channel I do want to assign, what do one the fader will do, and everything. And another page, I've got also different uh, drum, uh, drum DCA, sorry, where basically I press on DCA and what was going to happen, it will, uh, will um, uh, do this year's split, spill. Basically, if you go on setup on the soft key here, you can see that this year's spill, you do this, uh, sorry, and, uh, and basically he will do the spill. So why I have done this? You say you have got the soft key. Okay, but the problem is in a desk like this, I've got only um, eight soft key and if I want to do all the DCSP or other kind of things as I have done before basically that I want to uh, call the aux and other stuff I can't because I don't ever got enough so if you go in here on browser you can choose which kind of an action so if you go on SQ you have got all the different things that you can do I don't know if you can see from uh, from my screen yeah okay so in here you can see all the different functions that you can do eh? You can do fader level, I don't know, fader effects, there is a lot of them. You can uh, change scene, uh, mute an input, uh, mute the left and right, mute an aux, anything you want to do. Basically, uh, this is a different macro.
that have been built and you literally press add and you press them about so i'll show you how if you want to do a new button just to show you so let's say that i go here and the regular button press in here say mute uh mute fox okay so let's say browser sq mute input i will say add say here check which one i want to mute uh, let's say number two you can do on and off or you can do toggle it's up to you but what i normally do i use a i use the on and off button just to make sure that it works better and uh, when you do the release action you basically do a press in here latch and latch go here and do again mute input channel number two do off in here and if I go on this and I go on here and on my desk I go on this so basically now the number two is muted already but if I press again you will see that it's muted and muted so you can see from the laptop so yeah so basically that's uh, that's everything that you need to do to make uh, companion work with the uh, with the SQ5. Hello guys, sorry I forgot uh, I was editing and I forgot to do an outro so I just want to say thank you for watching the video I, ha I hope that it's been useful for you uh, I know it's been quite a fast video but unfortunately I didn't have got enough time to do everything properly as I normally wanted to do it but if you have got any questions just let me know in the comment uh, or you can go on my Instagram account I'm Dom Trotta and on there I can answer to you all your questions, send me a DM or anything you, you need. And please subscribe on the page, like the video and uh, see you in the next one.